Hello everyone, welcome to Excel problem solving series. So we have a new problem today and we'll be learning the sum product function which is present into the Excel. Now friends from the name only itself it is very much clear that there would be a sum and a product thing which would be coming. But let us see the real application of this particular function here. So you can see into the column B I have the different mobile company names into the column C I have the type of the mobile which is this company produces for example realme redmi so it is the 6 GB variant 8 GB variant and 12 GB variants I mentioned here how many quantity which they have sold of that particular variant and the price of that particular variant I have written here so these are just random numbers which I have taken here these are not the exact numbers what do we want so the into the output I want to get so I have the RAM category so there are three unique distinct RAM categories which are present here that is 6 8 and 12 so I have mentioned it here I want to know what is the total amount of sales that has happened for each of the category I will be taking into account all these companies which are mentioned here so I want to get the total sales that has happened now there are various methods to do this you can simply use and have a large formula to calculate this individually for every other variant which is present here now suppose this for particular data set is very much small just 15 rows are present here 16 rows are present here but into real cases we will be having a very large data set and it is very much complex to calculate all these tasks or every numbers individually so we will be using the sum product function here to calculate this particular thing now friends you can see here I have this total sales so let us calculate these total sales total amount sales happened for this 6 GB RAM so first of all I would write the sum product function here and then I would need to provide the different arrays arrays in the sense which are the different columns which are used to calculate the total sum product so sum product will be nothing but the quantity into price first of all we would need to filter it out from at the entire data set only 6 GB RAM variants mobile sets we will need to provide this particular filter condition initially so to provide this particular filter condition I would provide this complete array here and I would try to match entire array which I have selected so each of the rows would match with which category so I would provide the category which I want it to match so into the entire data set I would take into account only those categories which are having 6 GB RAM for calculating the total sales for 6 GB RAM mobile sets and then I would close the bracket here so I would provide this into a bracket I would need to provide a multiplication sign here and then I would need to provide the other array or the array which I am concerned with so this is the quantity array so first of all it would just filter out the rows which I want from this particular data set so the rows which I'll be getting would be row number 2 to row number 6 and then it would take into account only these rows you can understand this something as for example wherever this is true it would account as 1 and whenever it is false it would account as 0 so if we multiply anything with 1 it would remain as that particular number only so 1 into 11 would remain as 11 1 into 18 would remain as 18 so this you can take into account as something we are matching and then we are giving values as true or false so true would account as 1 and false would account as 0 and whenever 1 is coming it would multiply that particular number and whenever 0 is coming so any number which which we are multiplying with zero it would account to zero so that won't count up into our this particular RAM category value so only it will take into account only those rows where 6 GB RAM variants are present or data is present here now into the second array which we need to provide so here definitely we would be providing the price column here and that's all we will hit the end and you can see we have got the total sales of the 6 GB variant mobile now here we need to fix some of the ranges so I would select the range I would press F4 similarly I would do for the entire data set and that's all I would hit enter and I would drag this formula to the very last so that it calculates for the other variants as well so you can see I have got the answers for the other variants Friends, here we calculated the sales for the total RAM category so whatever category variant was present for that particular RAM I have got the total sales now let us calculate the total amount of sales which have been done by each of the company irrespective of the RAM of the mobile or the variant so friends let us do this so I would take into account so I'll be using the same function that is the sum product function and then our first array which I need to take into concern is this particular array and then I would 
try to match this with this particular number i would then again put this into bracket and then i would multiply this so what is the number which i need to multiply this with so i need to multiply this with the quantity number the second array which i need to provide is the price column here you can see and then enter so you can see i've got the total sales amount for the redmi mobile and similarly i would just drag this formula to the very end but before that i would fix all these ranges with the dollar value so i would select the range and i would press the f four button here and then similarly i would do for the rest of these values and then i would drag this formula to the very last and then i would get the answer for the other companies also you can see the maximum sales that has been done by the samsung company so friends this was a very interesting data set or problem you would see and we have solved this using the sum product function so this can be used into very if the data set is very long and we just want to calculate this particular thing which we have seen here so we can use the sum product function so friends if you had found this video very much informational do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't received such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much